Hello everyone, this is King Connelty. This video I will show you our demo. This is demo controller. We have made the new freeware that is 4.3.4. This version we have added many functions. You can see this is a list about 11 items of the update. So I will one by one tell you what is the new functions are in the new freeware. And we can see the first one, uh, the demo. We have added the 8 channel demo country by web page. What this means, uh, now you can open the IP uh, for this demo. And uh, you can see I can log with username and the password. But now also we have these options. This is for demo country panel. If you click these options, you can log in and you will see uh, this is demo, 8 demo for change the brightness, like the first one. I have connected the lamp. This is a 220 volt lamp uh, controlled by this SSR. This is analog SSR. You can see I can change the brightness uh, from this bar and uh, close and open and change the brightness. And also this is channel two. Uh, you can see I have not uh, connected with channel two. Uh, there are uh, red LED uh, that will be on and off and change the brightness uh, by this this bar. And uh, now I have only take example for the channel 1 output. And uh, this is the first function. And the second, it supports HTTP command uh, integrate the third part of software to change brightness and uh, read the output brightness. Uh, this is HTTP command. So you can see the document on our web page. Uh, you can see uh, this software document and this is 31, this is D8, uh, demo controller, HTTP, MQTT, TCP, and IS485 protocol. Just click and you will see uh, how to development uh, for the protocol to your own software or your server. Like by the HTTP command, uh, you can read the demo state, every channel demo state, and change every channel output of the brightness. Uh, by the uh, password, and this is H MQTT command. Uh, it's great for Node Red or for Home Assistant. And uh, this is a TCP command uh, that is used a uh, stream, NC stream. Uh, it's easy to understand. Uh, this up to you. Change which which sec uh, which way to integrate to your own software. And uh, this is IS485 a command. This command is seen as a network. Uh, is it's simply and uh, uh, this is a tool uh, support the uh, command and uh, three uh, we have added the web config password just when you log in you can see i can log in and uh, there is the option uh, this is the password login password this is admin and this is the post password that is for http command you can see the HTTP command. Every command will have this post password. This post password uh, set by the network setting at this I term. And uh, this is for login. OK. Uh, the first RS485 address just can set by the web page, not use command. You can see the web page, and uh, this is RS485. A slave address uh, you can input uh, from 1 to 99 so you can connect with our demo uh, for the max is 99 picks uh, you can uh, connect with one bus line and the file uh, support MQTD function uh, this is very important so that you can integrate for many third-party software like home assistant uh, you can see uh, this is my home assistant. I have already integrated the eight channel dimmer. You can see I can country the dimmer brightness at here and change the brightness uh, for the number one, channel number one. And this is my mobile phone home assistant application. You can see I can change the brightness on mobile phone. I change the brightness. And the computer website will update the state. 
And also, if I use a home assistant, you can see I use the remote uh, to reduce the brightness, uh, increase the brightness, uh, it will be changed, and reduce the brightness. And it also will be update the state. Uh, this is change the state and update uh, for the state. And also, I can use this wall switch and uh, Hold down the button, uh, it will be brightness up. Uh, you can see uh, this is update. OK, this is for the five function support the MQTT. And about the MQTT integration, uh, you can see our document. And also, you can see the knowledge and the home assistant. And you can see we have update as uh, case 868 uh, D8 integration home assistant by MQTT. You just click this article. And you will see the details how to integrate the home assistant and uh, connect with the Mosquito MQTT broke and the configuration of the YAML file of Home Assistant. And this is a demo we have right and this is a dashboard. Okay, this is a MQTT function. And the sixth, we have add option config web page. That you can choose uh, whether remember the state before power off and the demo state when the power on will auto recover. Uh, just you can see this. Uh, you can see this option. Uh, remember last date. Uh, you can choose yes or no. If you choose no, uh, that will not auto recover as a state before the power off. So this is a remember function. You can enable or disable by yourself. And now we can see the server. The server is also very important. Uh, we added the function of the one key work mode and uh, before it's two key work mode. What this means, you can see there is an option. Uh, this is two key. The two key means every one channel, just like this, this one channel lamp. I need a two button uh, to country the brightness up and the brightness down. If I quick click this button, this is brightness down, it's off. If I quick click, this brightness up is off, is on. So that is for on and off. And if I hold on, not remove my hair finger, uh, it will be, you can see the slowly uh, become off. And if I hold on the up, up button, it will be slowly become brightness up. So this is for two key mode. And now you can see I can change to one key mode. So because the two key mode, uh, you need two line uh, connect with the two input points. If you use one key mode, you just only use one line as a common uh, just uh, need. But every channel output, you just use one line. Just use one button for changing the brightness and also will be loop. So I will show you uh, what, what's this function. We can change it to no and the one key. And we can save and wait reboot. Now we can go to the web page again, uh, confirm. Uh, this is one key. So you can see now I can press the button. Uh, this button, this button is up. I can press this button and not remove my hand. And uh, you can see uh, the brightness is up and down and up and down. Just always loop. So you can use one button to change the brightness, uh, change the on, off, on, off, on, off. When you can remove your hand uh, just uh, for stop uh, and uh, stay the level. And if you click, uh, if the lamp is on, that will be off. If now the lamp is off, I can click uh, quickly that will be on. So this button, if you quickly 
just for on off on off and change the state on off just hold on will change the brightness and the short click will be on and off okay this is seven and the eight that means we can send a broadcast signal to find the device that means we can use this Kinkoni scan device toy as you can see I can start monitor and we can click scan then you can find uh, the dimmer uh, dimmer 8 uh, its IP and the port and the UID you will find in these toys so that will be easy to find and list all your Kinkoni controller in this uh, item list uh, so this is for install and uh, work for install is, will be easier than before and the 9 we have improvement to the stable of the anti inference that is for Ethernet uh, for e that Ethernet more stable uh, that's just a function and uh, the 10 the 10 is also is important we have added threshold of settings adjust the startup percent option of every channel output what this means I also can tell you uh, this is the threshold uh, for 8 channel and uh, you can see if I turn on the lamp you can see when I change it from 0 to 19 the lamp is not work you can see when the brightness is changed to 30 percent you can see uh, there is a little become oh, only a little what this means because the SSR will have a startup voltage this voltage is not uh, between uh, 0 0.1 or a little volt uh, can't work now you can see the percent is 26 I can use my eyes I see the lamp a little light become light uh, maybe the camera is not very clearly so we can input the 26 uh, for the channel 1 because so that we can change the brightness uh, uh, quickly and we'll skip uh, this level skip this level and we can save and wait restart and login and confirm uh, this is 26 and now you can see I close the lamp and I click this level you can see uh, there will be on you can see the color and because you can see now the number is 3% and I go on and now you can see this is 8% the lamp is become up your eyes can see it I can go on go on go on go on go on and the lamp will be become brightness up so you can see this level this level we have skipped uh, so you can use a mobile phone or you can use on your PC uh, countering this this bar uh, a good experience uh, so this is a function of a threshold uh, so we have you can set the eight channel individually because every different load and every different SSR we have the different uh, value for the load so you can up, you can according to your setting and you can experiment uh, change uh, the value up and down and uh, find a good value for your load is okay okay now we can see the last one the 11 is we can support the update for your wireband network cable this demo uh, you can also not only uh, by RS485 uh, by server part to update the freeware and also you can use the Ethernet cable to update we have write the Ethernet update uh, toys just uh, these toys uh, you just input your computer IP and your board IP always is fixed on this static IP 
before you power on. Uh, you can see just a step one, connect, and a step two, detect, and a step three, open the freeware file, and a step four, download. So you can see the some message at this window and how to download. And this is the advantage of the new freeware and the main functions. If you have interest, in, you can update the freeware and have any questions, you can leave a message to us. We will help you. Okay, thanks for watching.